What happened? Where am I? What's going on? Alan! Huh? Great. In a land in a time where angels fly In a land of a distant day Where the rainbow leads through heaven's eyes You are beyond eternity In a land in a time where angels fly In a land of a distant day Where the rainbow leads through heaven's eyes You are beyond eternity Skyloft! An aerial settlement dedicated to preserving the human race. A peaceful place of floating stone, people, giant birds, and giant bird droppings. Oh, sweet Hylia, why? Ugh, do not want to be that guy. And here is a young resident of Skyloft, Link, a young man currently beginning his daily ritual of reading anonymous letters. Dear Link, good morning. I hope your night was pleasant. My night was filled with dreams of you. Shirtless. Your strong arms around me. Embracing me. Our eyes locked in a loving stare. And surprisingly some weird frog was dancing around us singing hello my baby. But whatever, it's a dream. Weird stuff happens. But as that was going on I could feel your hands slowly lowering down my back. Making me shiver with anticipation as to what would come next. Sadly. I awoke just at that moment, cursing the sun in its waking ways. My only solace now is that one day you and I may reenact this sweet dream of mine. Except this time, I'll be awake. Signed, your secret heart. Huh. Eventually I'm gonna have to question where these letters come from. But today is not that day! Today is the day I pass my knight's trial in the wing ceremony and become an official knight. Oh wait! There's another letter. That's odd, I usually only get one of these. Well, let's see what it's about. Attention, Meatbag! I do hope you have no plans to pass the night's trial today. Because as you know, there can be only one who passes into knighthood. And that one is me. <laughs> oh. P.S. Good luck flying on your bird today. <laughs> Sign the Crimson Pompadour. There should be a rule about how many ha's you can have in one letter. Well, anyway, time to get going. Oh, hi, Link. Yo, Teach. What you up to? Oh, you know, just hanging around. <laughs> uh, great, I guess. So anyway, Link, how's your sex life? That... is not something you ask a student, sir. Ah ha ha what a story, Link. Sir, are you high? High on you, babe. Okay, I'm gonna go. Don't follow me. Okay, so what's going on up here? Hmm? Maybe I should have held off mentioning the frog. Seriously, that was just weird. Oh look, it's Zelda. Hey Zelda, what's up with you? Huh? Oh, hello Link. How's your morning? The Lady Zelda, daughter of the Dean of the Academy, as well as a student in school's top beauty. Who, like Link, has oddly never had a boyfriend. However, she has held a ridiculously strong crush on our young protagonist for some time yet has been able to skillfully hide her feelings from him. I want you. What? I want you to do your best today. After all, only one of the students will be able to graduate to Sky Knight, leaving the other hardworking students to wallow in shame while being held back a grade simply because one person was better than they were. That sounds like a horribly broken system. Yes. Yes, it does. Huh. Wait, aren't you partaking in the ceremony too? Nope. Being the Dean's daughter, I get an instant pass without having to worry about things like tests or ability. Well, that sounds... incredibly unfair. Yes. 
Yes, it does. Ah, hello, Zelda. Link. Oh, hello, Diggy. What is it? N nothing. Just... Eyes. Okay. So what brings you out here, Father? Oh, you know, just strolling, taking in the sights. See anything different than what you usually see? Nah. But it is good to see you two getting along so well. What do you mean by that? Oh, well, you know Zelda has just had this huge crush on. Oh no. Daddy's about to reveal to Link that I like him. I'm not emotionally ready for that. Though, granted I haven't been emotionally ready for years. But still, I need to come up with some sort of hastily thrown together and not properly thought through distraction. Um, uh... Hey Link, what's that over there? What? Duh! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a bit... harsh? Huh? Oh shit, what have I done?! <sighs> what... is wrong with you? I am so sorry. Not to change the subject, but Link, shouldn't your loft wing have come to help you when you were falling? Huh? Oh yeah. Can't seem to sense him either. I wonder what happened to it. Well, you'd better find out. If you don't have your loft wing, you can't take part in the ceremony. Then you'll have to remain a student. Forever. So you better get on that. Huh. Alright then. Hey Zelda, you wanna come look for my loft wing with me? I could use the help. Wait, go on a search with you? Spending more time together? Growing closer and possibly form a kind of emotional loving bond with each other? Well, I was just asking, but if you don't want to go, then- Oh jeez! We're on the case! So Link, do you have any idea what could have happened to your bird? <gasps> you don't think it was taken by someone, do you? Could have been. With how good I am at flying, someone could have taken it in order to keep me out of the ceremony. Do you know anyone who could have done it? <sighs> well... I got a pretty good idea. Really? Well, who? Well, Link, how did you know where to find your bird? Oh, Groose always puts him here when he's trying to keep me out of things. He's kind of a douchebag that way. Well, I hope your bird's okay. My life is a thing of pain and mockery. For in the first few moments of this adventure, I made out to be important, irreplaceable, and a vital part of the story. But in truth, after finding me, I become little more than a mode of transportation. A thing that is kept only as a side note in this tale of heroes and adventure. For I am but a- Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Never bothered him before. I wish a pox on you and your kin! Well, that's good. Say, Link, before the ceremony, would you like to... You know, go flying around the clouds together? You know, to make sure your loft wing is alright. Sure, I'd like that. Today's awesomeness is brought to you by the word SCORE. Okay, Zelda, you can do this. He's right there. Just ask him out already. After all, he seems to like you too, so maybe he'll say yes. Maybe we'll be the happy couple I always wanted us to be. Maybe he'll strap me to a table, rip off my clothes, and proceed to- Wow, I really do have strange fantasies, don't I? I should probably see someone about that. But not now. Now is my moment. Besides, out here, what could possibly go wrong? Say, Link, I- <laughs> Oh, 
What has happened to Zelda? What was that mysterious tornado that suddenly appeared out of nowhere? Will we ever find out what Zelda was going to tell the Link? Will Link even survive? Stay tuned for the next episode with nail-biting desperation.